Local Nation is a free resource for any business that wants to connect with local buyers for next to nothing using revolutionary online tools and methods. Welcome to Local Nation, because where you are is where it's at. G'day Local Nation, it's your host Julian Siri Good. Today in episode 10 I'll be discussing WordPress hosting, things like one-click installs and WordPress auto upgrades and how to do those things. We'll even have a demo. I also want to recommend to you a book, so let's get to it. Now in previous sessions I've covered why we recommend WordPress for small business, how to select a WordPress host, and also even how to do a one-click install, which is where you literally click a few buttons and you have WordPress installed by your hosting company. It's very important to have that feature. It saves you from having to know the technical mumbo jumbo and how to do it yourself. Further, you want a host that also does auto upgrade so that when a new version of WordPress comes out, you don't have to do anything. They take care of it for you. Now, at the time I did my original review, I wasn't in a position to recommend somebody to you because I didn't have personal experience with them. I also called out that if I accepted any commissions from any recommendations that I made, which is a common practice practice on today's internet that I would disclose that and I would only recommend somebody that I believed in that was doing a good job. Well, since that time in February, I have been using the company called Midphase. They've done a really excellent job with their customer service. They have a 30-day money-back guarantee, a 99.9% .9 uptime. They do WordPress auto upgrades, auto installs. They're only $7.95 a month. And with the discount you're now able to get by clicking on the link in my post, you're going to get the first three months free and a free domain for life. That's a good deal. It works out to be a little under $72 for the entire year for all that stuff. So really tough to beat. That's why I recommend them. And we get a small commission for recommending them when you click on that link. And that helps us defray the cost of delivering local nation to you. So without too much further ado, we're going to do the demo. And I'm going to just talk quickly about WordPress for dummies. Go to your local bookstore or click on the link in this post and go to Amazon.com. Buy WordPress for Dummies. This is a fantastic book. It tells you all the things you need to do to use WordPress, even if you're just going to use it as a regular website, which is the main thing we say to start out doing. Then if you've got time to do some blog marketing, add on a blog. It tells you how to do these things. You can study it at your own pace. And it's something like $16 to purchase from Amazon. So check that out as well. All right, so you fold the link from within the local nation post on Midface Hosting. In my post, I've also included a coupon code that you're going to use during the order process. That's what's going to give you three months for free. So once you're here on the site, you can review the details of the Mega Phase plan. As mentioned before, it's $7.95 a month. With that coupon gate I gave you, it'll give you three months off of your annual costs. So you end up spending a little bit less than $72 for the entire year. If you want to get more details beyond things like it's free setup, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, and all the storage and disk space and bandwidth that you've got, you can click on more info. Otherwise, you're going to click on the Get Started button. And at this point, you're going to um, put in the URL. This is probably going to be your existing website address. But... Um, I might just take this opportunity to remind you, if you've been watching Local Nation, in a prior session, Episode 8, 28 Minutes to Better Google Local Search Results, I recommended that you buy a new URL or domain name with your city name in it. That's going to give you a chance to help improve your search engine rankings when somebody goes to Google, Google Local, Yahoo Local, or Microsoft's equivalent. So, And it's very easy to get the URL, unlike major domain names like maybe let's say Mary's florist because what are they there's probably hundreds hundreds or even thousands of Mary's florists around the world good luck getting that URL but if you put in the community name right like New York Mary's florist a you can get the URL B you'll increase your search engine ranking so go back and consult episode 8 and learn more about that for now I just wanted to point out this is where you're gonna type in your URL and instead of this coupon name where it says free domain for life, I've got the better one for you, which gives you a free domain for life plus three months off. Then you're going to hit continue. Now, I won't go beyond this because the rest of this stuff is just a typical web order form where you give your contact information and your credit card details and you sign up. Once that process is actually complete, you're going to get an email confirming your order. And very soon after that, you'll get details on how to log in to something called your control panel, which is a nice segue. 
Now we're on the control panel for a mid-phase account. Now I'll mention that while when you first log in, you're going to get an opportunity to kind of go through a setup process. I'm not going to replicate that here, but that will let you choose, among other things that probably don't matter, how your control panel looks. I've chosen a simple design. So if yours looks slightly different, it's because you've chosen a different design theme during your welcome um, message and process when you signed up and signed in to your control panel for the first time. Here's what I want you to look for. Go and locate an area called, oops, I went by it, software and services. Regardless of how your control panel looks, you'll have that section and you'll have the option that says Fantastico Deluxe. I want you to click on that. This is going to give us our auto install for WordPress. Along the left, there's a link for WordPress. We're going to click that. It's going to give you a description of what this is. The only thing you need to know is that you need to click on the link that says new installation. So I've clicked on the new installation link. It's going to come up and automatically show you the URL that you will put in during your order process. You're probably not going to change that. You could, if you so chose to, put in or install this in a certain directory on your hosting site. In all likelihood, you don't need to do this. It doesn't matter to you. You're just going to put all the main WordPress files on your main URL in a little folder. All right, now it does need to know a couple of things. So for example, what is your username going to be in your password once you go to WordPress or once it's installed, you'll go there and you'll sign in and that's how you'll make new content. That's how you'll put new content on your website homepage or uh, write a new blog post. And so I'm going to put in Julian Test. You'll put in whatever your real information is. Uh, under the base configuration, I'm going to type in my first name for the admin nickname. And then you're going to include your email address, your main site name, which is your URL, and a description, which might be something more that describes your actual website. You don't need to put anything in there. The final thing you'll do is configure your email. Your email account username, email account password, your POP SMTP server information and your port. Some of this information will already be filled out for you. In fact, the main thing you'll need to do is just put in your password. So I'm going to put in, uh, I'm going to make up a password. And under the POP slash SMTP server, I'm just going to put mail dot in front of the current URL. That's going to be your URL that's showing up in that field. So if you registered a name mariesflorist.com, that will already be appearing in this area. You're just going to prepend that or add mail period in front of it. So it will then read mail period mariesflorist.com. You're going to then click on the install WordPress uh, link. Finally, it's just going to give you some confirming information. It's going to talk about installing a database. That's all great because WordPress runs on the MySQL database. That's what this is confirming. And it's saying you chose to install this in the main directory of the domain, blah, 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 marysflorist.com. Click on Finish Installation to continue. So I'm clicking on Finish Installation. And I've got the uh, working box going on this right now. All right, it says install WordPress step three of three. So there's only one thing left to do, log into WordPress. Open up your favorite web browser, type in your URL, and then add this onto the end of it, slash wp-login.php. That's all you do. Here's an example with my website, localnation.com slash wp-login.php. That gets you to this page. You type in your username and your password. You click the login link, and voila, you're in WordPress. From here, you just got to start learning how to use WordPress. So we really are all done. Congratulations. You've purchased website hosting. You've done a one-click install of WordPress without any technical knowledge and know-how. This whole lesson is somewhere shy of 10 minutes. It wasn't too complicated, was it? But I am interested in hearing back from you. Did you encounter any difficulties or problems in doing this? If you have some questions, feel free to ask me. Either leave me a comment on this post on the Local Nation site or use the contest contact us section to send us an email. Otherwise, good luck and enjoy your new website. I'm Julian, editor and host of Local Nation, and we'll see you next time.